And uh, I've been doing the... Previously the on Don't Kiss and Tell. Without the bulletproof vest. The deed, as in sex and the bulletproof vest, would that be a condom? Yes. Okay, David, do you understand how having multiple partners can put you at great risk, especially without using a condom? Yeah, but you know it is. <laughs> it's better without the rubber. <laughs> no, this is a serious issue, David. Uh, Look, because that's the thing, they're expecting us hey, to David. do the normal thing, right? Um, so what we do is... Hi. Do so how are you? Good, uh, why? Um, cause... And, um, never mind, I have to be somewhere, so... Oh, 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 oh um, what a coincidence, because I also have somewhere to be, you know? Um, okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm Lydia. I'm David. Okay, let's talk about something different. Um, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Uh, what do you like doing for fun? Uh, fun. Going out clubbing with my girls, especially if it's a show. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey girl, what you up to? Mary Ann, were you here the entire time? At school? What? Uh, why should I see you? Yeah, I was here already, but you guys just didn't notice me. Mm, okay. Yeah. But anyway, Hilma isn't talking to me. <laughs> okay, it's maybe my fault. Mm. I was being nosy, but it's like we're having this conversation, mm. and then I noticed like this bruise like marks on her neck. And I mm. ask her about it. Oh my gosh, with the hickeys. That's exactly what I want to know. But uh. no, she went all ballistic on me. Don't put your hands on me. Don't kiss and tell Where I'm over if you wish me well That liquor is killing your liver Don't put your hands on me Don't kiss and tell Where I'm over if you wish me well That liquor is killing your liver Don't put your hands on me Don't kiss and tell Where I'm over if you wish me well That liquor is killing your liver Don't put your hands on me Don't kiss and tell don't kiss and tell. That the gut is killing your liver. Don't put your hands on me. I don't think we can go through this again, man. Um, you here for the test? Yeah, uh, the test, the uh, the HIV test. <laughs> Life is funny, man. Who would have thought that I would actually say I'm here for the HIV test? It's too real, bro. Yeah, tell me about it, man. Hey, I'm John, and um, I'm HIV positive. <laughs> well, I can't believe how easy it was for me to say that. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, man. My bad. I was. I didn't mean. Nah, it's cool. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Being HIV positive doesn't make me any different, you know. I'm still like everyone else. But like, um, how do you handle it? Well, dealing with it was an easy ride. But when I realized that I could still be John and live my life, I never let the virus or what people say get to me, you know? The first few months went easy. The guys at school used to call me names for a while, and I used to miss school because of what people said. But then I realized I have an awesome future ahead of me, and I won't let what people say get ahead of me and stop me from pursuing my dreams, you know? That's acting, man. That's really, really acting. You know what, I respect you a lot for that, man. You know, if I could, I would tell all the young guys out there that sleeping around, I mean, it's good in the world, but the consequences, well, they're real, man. <laughs> they're too real. You know? Yeah, I know. Yeah, man. I guess it's time for me to face my future. Well, good luck, man. Thanks, man. Cool. Well, what is it? I'm still negative, right? Um, David, you're HIV positive. Oh, uh, how, how can that be? I, I haven't slept with anybody ever since the last time I was here. Well, I know this isn't necessarily the news you were looking forward to, but it's important that you know your status. And I'm really glad that you came back after the six-month window period, because usually when a virus is in its early stages, we can't really detect it. And I'm actually really proud of you, because most young guys like yourself never come back for testing just to find out later in life that they actually have contracted the virus. 
What? So what now? I'm just supposed to live with this for the rest of my life. No, 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 no. Well, of course you will live with it for the rest of your life, but you can still live a healthy, long life. It's not over. Oh, you don't understand, okay? You don't... I, I, I can't deal with everybody treating it. Look at me differently, David, okay? I can't deal with all of that right now. Down, I can't. David, calm down, please. You don't understand, okay? You don't understand. Look, just because you have the virus now, it doesn't make you any different from anyone else. You see, stigma and discrimination, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. The problem with our society today is that not many people are educated on HIV and AIDS. I think that's why they make all the wrong assumptions. Um, just the other day at school, some guy had to leave school because people were treating him differently and didn't want to be around him. Well, that's very sad to hear, but you can be the guy that tells them otherwise, David. Look, your life is not over. Think of, think of it this way. It's the beginning of a new responsible life. You'll be okay, David. All right? No, 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 no. no this cannot be happening. Listen, cannot you'll be okay. Be well, I actually do have another patient coming through, so you can make your way down the hall to post counseling, and you'll get further help there. You'll be all right, okay? No. <laughs> David, this is why we're here. We're here to help you, okay? This, your life is not over, believe me. You're HIV positive, David. You're HIV positive. You're HIV positive. You're HIV positive. You're HIV positive. <gasps> Whoa, that was a crazy dream. HIV is too real. Disappointed in you, Marianne. I know that I couldn't provide everything you need. But at least you had a roof over your head and food to eat. You know, Marianne, these things that you see on TV, these girls, how huh, with their fancy clothes and their fancy hair, you don't need none of that. It's nonsense. Besides, this is why you are going to school so that you can get money and work and, and buy things for yourself. And all this time, Marianne, I'm asking you where you are getting all this stuff, and you just Look me in the eye and you lie to me. <sighs> These stupid men. <laughs> to take advantage of a young girl like you. You know what? I want to talk to him. She said he doesn't want to see me anymore. He said I should stay away from him or else. Or else what? Or else what? Huh? I 
I will go to his house. I do not care, Marianne, whether his wife is there or not. He will take care of this child. Let's go. Let, get my bag. Let's go. Follow me. something messed up man so the other day i caught my brother in his face playing with a bunch of condoms how messed up is that your what? <laughs> what? <laughs> is you like 12 or 14 or something yeah so i gave him the real talk man yeah. <laughs> like kids of the day bro always thinking sex is a game it's all this advertising and television they make it seem like casual sex is okay yet there's such a hard reality hitting out there oh, right? and they don't know about it all this glitz and glamour it's blinding us bro and I, another thing is that a real man knows how to talk to his children about sex at the right time. Now these men of the day, they're just so busy working and that's all they do. And when the son comes up and says, hey dad, I have an HIV, they're shocked. <laughs> that's weird, bro. It's true. But I mean, I haven't seen my dad in a long time, but after a long break. Yeah. Look at you, yeah. man. Show you. 18 and HIV negative. Respect, man. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys see that fine honey over there? Uh, it's too far from your type. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, oh, oh okay. 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 All right. Uh, sorry, um, do you look familiar? Have we met before? No, I don't think we did. Um, well, um, I'm James. Please get on my face, man. Dude. No need to be so nasty, I'm just trying to say hi. Well, James, we've met before, don't you mind? Uh, we've met? Oh, uh, I don't believe you just asked me that. We've done what I just made, right? Like, you know? It was you! You're the one! What are you talking about? I don't understand, what are you talking about? You just disappeared the last time we... I mean, if it's best that you get anything better. Well, you're the one. I have HIV because of you. How dare you? I'm just saying, I have HIV because of you. Well, it's Three. definitely not me. It must have been all those other girls who slept with you. Got your dumbest twist. You're the only girl I slept with. Well, James, I don't have HIV. Get on with this. Get yourself checked out. You can. Oh. Oh. Well, well, well. <laughs> you didn't seem to handle that well. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Wait, I think you get, should get some advice from David. He seems to have his way around the ladies. Shut up, Eddie. I'm not like that anymore. Dude, Dude chill. Calm bro. down. It was just a joke. <laughs> What's wrong with you anyway? Nothing. Are you sure? Yeah. So, guys, um, that girl, I actually know her. <laughs> you know how. Well, we sort of had a thing a while ago. A thing? Wait, wait, wait. You had a thing with her? A thing? When? How? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did I never see you around with her? Yes. Yeah. It was nothing serious, man. It just, it was a one night stand. <laughs> what? What? You, James, one night stand. Yeah, and <clears throat> we did it without the rubber. Oh, James, no. Real, right? Dude, I was only kidding about that stuff. Well, I fell for it, man. Hey, James, what? Whoa. What are these, man? They are these.
Are you the one who got my niece pregnant? What is this little girl telling you? Uh, I don't know her. She will never lie to me. Ma'am, listen, this little girl that manipulate your mind. So if you can just excuse me for now. I'm please. not going anywhere. Listen here, she told me everything. Does your wife know what the <laughs> sick men you are chasing little girls like my niece? Honey, shame on you. you. Uh, no, honey, there is Listen, nothing. Just, you're going uh, to support this baby. It doesn't She's sound like it, whether you like it or What's not. What's going on? Uh, good evening. Can we help you? Yes, can we come in, please? Yes, please. Please do come in. It's a crazy night, man. Is everything on there? Where are the guys I mean, but those guys left without saying a word. All I can say is, man, yes, life just got real. Life just got real. I never tried to take a second chance you know? I know, man. <laughs> uh, the girls are just crazy, man. Huh? No, I can can check this out. You see the guy arguing with this girl over there. Uh -huh. I don't know why he's arguing. He's wasting his time. All you need to do is give her a good slap. No. So he said straight. No matter how things get out of line, you're never allowed to be like your Ah, man. If a woman steps out of line, all you need to do is give her a slap now and then. So no, 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 no. Um, uh, one more, just need someone who can just talk to you, you know, like try to reason with her, you know. Only insecurity people and people are just psychological problems, just be the girls out there. Rubbish, my friend. Men in my culture have been beating women since forever, man. Sometimes they just don't want to listen, and all you can do is need, you need more than words. I mean, sometimes you need more than words to bring the but message you across. You can't just such things to someone who you actually like, you cho you've chosen to love, you know. <laughs> chosen to love. My friend, they should see the sacrifices we make. I mean, you invest money, you invest time, you invest all those resources for them to go cheat on you with another guy. But sometimes, you know, like before you start dating a girl, you have to look at them. Um, it's just a matter of just looking at her first, analyze if she's not like what you expect from her. You can take her to church, <laughs> go and work some mysterious wells, but seems like you just end up coming to drink here. And then you are pity your mind just because you are intoxicated or something. Look, listen, I'm not saying that you should drink and go beat up your woman. I'm just saying it's in reasonable bounds for if a woman misbehaves, you need to set her straight, man. But uh, did you ever see your dad beating your mom before? Never. Mom never disrespects dad. That's the thing. Even when he's drunk, he's never laid a hand on her. All the men in my family have beat their woman. That's the only way you keep them in life. But does it mean that your elders beating up their wives doesn't mean you have to do it off. Listen, some of them just don't want to listen. Some of them need a slap. It's a matter of just sitting down with the lady, talk to her, reason with her. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Why can't they just stop nagging? But you know beating a girl sometimes can hang you in your Have you ever like really sat down like the new the new laws which are put out there like they are more in favor of ladies lately? Whatever, man. I don't care. Like some, they just want to listen. I don't. Look, my friend, what would you do? This thing of hating women should just stop, you know. It starts with our young generation. Like uh, we can't, we can't allow women to just fear us or be scared of us and talk to us and, and just fear us as some emotionless sperm donors, you know. It's high time we start respecting women. It's high time we start talking to them, treating them the way they deserve to be treated. And at the end of the day, our kids are gonna grow up in such a violent environment whereby women are ever beaten left right and center. It's just a matter of just growing up in a dark, closed society or something like that. It's just a matter of us teaching our young kids like how society view women and I think we can raise proper men out there. And I think women deserve to be respected in the proper way, you know? She is 18 years old, Silas. She's only 18 years old. What is wrong with you? 
I'm, okay, I'm sorry, my love. Sorry! We have children together and all you can say is sorry? Okay, please, okay, let me explain this. Explain what? Did you see the way that Nuko was crying? Did you see the way she was crying? Yeah, but... Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. And you do not know what you... You were not thinking? Yes, ma'am. We have children together and you were not thinking. Please... They just give if, a chance to fix things. So that if we please, had please, issues please, in this marriage, please, man, you should have spoken to me about them so that we can work them out instead of going out to impregnate a high school girl. What is wrong with you? Our kids should not know about this. Please, just... Let well, me. you should have thought about all of that please, before man. you went and impregnate a high school girl. Our, our kids should not I know I do about not want your explanation. Our, just, our kids just, should it, not... It is please. enough. I don't want... I'm so sorry, baby. Tonight, yes. I am going to leave. I cannot be with a man that cheats on me and our children. I am leaving tonight. Yes, I am don't leaving. Don't I am leaving don't tonight. Don't do Let me go. I am leaving. <laughs> Jacket. The jacket. Thanks, man. Uh, look, you don't need to pretend anymore. I, I know about the ARVs. Why are you going through my stuff, man? It's not like that, okay? When you rushed off, I saw the box. It was sticking out. I don't want to talk about this. Look, you're like a brother to me, man. Well. David, I've been living with HIV for the past two years now. Not even my parents know about this. I thought no one would ever find out, man. I thought I could just live my life without anyone ever finding out. Bro, why didn't you tell us? Oh, what? I'm supposed to be like, yo, what's up, guys? I've got HIV. Come on, bro. I don't mean it like that way, okay? We brothers. Oh, I got your back. Well, now you know. It's hectic, man. How did it happen? Same old story, man. Got drunk, slept with some girl. You know, that Melissa chick. Things just got really heated between the two of us. And we had sex without a condom, man. I had sex without a condom, David. And now I've got to live with this for the rest of my life. Melissa, as in the Melissa we just saw just now. Yeah, that's her, man. Wow. Um, d does she know that you know that you have it? I, to I told her, but she thinks I'm the one that gave it to her. And that's impossible. Because she's the only girl I've slept with. Oh, yeah. I, she should get tested, bro. Like, did you tell her she should get tested? I tried, but she kept on brushing me off. You know what? Don't stress about it, man. I'm sure she'll eventually get tested. Okay? For her sake, I hope so, man. Listen, I've really got to get going. Okay. Um, okay, look, James. I feel, like, I feel like I need to tell you that this doesn't change anything, okay? You're still my bro, and I'm not going to treat you or look at you any differently because of this, all right? Dude, you don't have to pretend. It's part of life. I'm not pretending, man, okay? We've been friends for a very long time now. And you'll always be my wingman, yeah? Sure. Check it. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, go back in. Please. Sure. That man got exactly what he deserved. And if he doesn't take care of this child, we will take him to court. Oh, yeah, I just, I feel bad for the wife and the child, though. <laughs> <sighs> I know, dear, but you know what? It's always better when the truth is out, other than to live a life of lies and deception. But all I want you to do right now is to worry about the little one. <sighs> yeah, I'm just so scared. I don't, I don't know, I'm so scared. I know you're scared, Marianne. I understand. 
But just know that I'm here for you and I will not kick you out. I just promise my one friend. Yeah. Okay. Promise me that you're not gonna live a life where you depend on men, on guys for anything. Okay? Because these men will always want something in their time. So I would like you to promise me that you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait for the right man to come. The one that values you, treats you like a woman, the worthy woman that you are, and one that won't use you for sex. Okay. <laughs> Um, check. Thanks. Uh, still here, bro. I thought you'd be gone by now. Bro, still here. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. I totally did not expect that. Wait, bro. What do you mean? Bro, okay. Yeah. The, the ARVs are his. Yeah, bro. They're his. I thought it was just getting. Whoa. I thought it was just getting them for someone. I mean, this is James who's speaking of right now. Seriously, bruh? Getting them for someone? I mean, it's James! No, the way he is. Wait, okay, whoa. Well, when? How? When how, bruh? Come on, man. How long? Two years, bro. This guy's been living with him for two years. Can you imagine two years? He didn't even tell anything. Wait, but it looks so good though. Yeah, but, but that's where you get it wrong, bro. I mean, just because you have a virus doesn't mean you look all virusy and stuff. <laughs> but that, that was what I thought though. Seriously, bro. I mean, but... I just, I can't believe it, man. Like, whoa. <laughs> but he's a guy, bro. What did you expect? He's a guy who does everything that other, every other guy does. Wait, what? James is normal? <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. What? You think I'm gonna treat him differently? Are you? No, man. That's my boy. Hey, don't even, don't even throw that in my side, man. You know I respect that guy. I look up to him, even though I tease him for being a geek and all. You know I look up to him. Always, and I'm never gonna look at him differently. That's what's up, bro. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. Um, look, this guy's taking too long with his drink, man. So I'm just gonna be out because I need to go. Right. Yeah, check it out. Let's know, someone's calling me. Hi, mom. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you okay? Why are you crying? Where's dad? Mom, what happened? Okay, I'll be, I'll, I'll be there in a few. Okay. Always so shady like Ray Benz, uh You tryna change but it's hard Shoot for the moon so you fall on the stars Stop the abuse, chill with the booze, love Less fights, more hugs, love, uh Please don't over drink to kill your problems Getting drunk never ever really solves them Don't kiss and tell Wear a rubber if you wish me well That liquor is killing your liver Don't put your hand in your daddy Yeah, yeah, better focus on your family Yeah, yeah